Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the LP. Ah, uh, yeah, great game. <laughs> Almost said grain freak there. <laughs> yeah, but there's no R in game. There is no I in team. <laughs> I don't know about how you guys doing. I'm doing good. I'm real good. Bzz, bzz. <laughs> Oh man. Pokemon. Love it. Love it, man. <laughs> man, Groudon. Always so grumpy. He's always really like arr, arr, arr. ferocious, man. Ferocious. Hulk! Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. This is Pokemon Go Flood Yourself Emerald. Let's play by me, Floodmon 14. Yeah. And we're back with some more of the LP here. Alright, so last time I. What did we do last time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, kind of caught up on, you know, our status in the game. Oh, apparently we're getting a phone call. Hi, Megami. Hello. This is Calvin. I saw this cool wormhole a while back, but I couldn't catch it. Oh, man, you scrub. Couldn't even catch a wormhole. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Calvin? Uh, well, anyway, uh, all phone calls aside. <laughs> yeah, um, last time we basically... Oh, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, because I had had a failed recording of this, and, uh, you know, uh, it's where it just didn't upload or, or whatever, and, uh, well, anyway, uh, let me show you guys my team's levels now. Let's see, yeah, we got Salty, the Wingo, level 15. Mega Minato, 14. Tad Lily, 14. And Fudmon, 14, of course. <laughs> and, uh, oh, uh, for some reason, I also brought along Ninkata and Sk uh, These guys are just going to be decoys, really, if we need them, which I don't know if we will. Uh, we'll see. Uh, this guy's pretty tough, but, uh, who is this guy, anyway? The second gym leader. I don't know, let's find out. Uh, what does that say? Oh, I'm Brawly, two for gym leader. Oh, really? I've been churning in the rough, rough ways, bro. These parts, and I've grown tough in the pitch black cave. Cowabunga, dude. So, you wanted to go grab a pizza? Oh, no, you wanted to challenge me. Well, fine. Let's see what you're made of, bro. All right. Oh, man. And this is, yes, Brawly. And you gotta love him, man. All the surfer jargon. He's so cool, man. He He's just... Probably the coolest gym leader. Uh, but as you can see, we're right on pace here. Is my chop's level 16. And we're level 15, so... Right about evenly matched, I'd say. So, Karate Chop! Now, Karate Chop is a dangerous move. Watch out, because... I think it has a high critical hit ratio. And, of course, it does get stabbed, you know, with... Uh, low Kick. That is a low blow. <laughs> Just kidding, man. <laughs> like, but yeah, do watch out for Karate Chop, though, because it can and will probably get at least one critical hit on you. So, yeah, Machop, um, he's no lightweight. I mean, take him seriously. And, I mean, I don't know why he's using low kick here, but uh, uh, he's really just doing us a favor, so thank you. Uh, there we go. And, yep, we get 301, and that gets Salty up to level 16. Uh, but, yeah, this gym, uh, fighting type. And, uh, oh, and, yeah, here in Emerald, he does have a meta type, which is level 16. Uh, psychic and fighting type, so... Ooh, and he's charging his focus, yeah. And yeah, watch out for that. But if you attack him when he's doing that, yeah, you see he'll lose his focus and can't move. So, probably for Metatite here, I'd say uh, you just want to attack. Just go for it, you know? Um, so, yeah. We'll use Wing Attack again. Uh, but, yeah, Fighting Type on this gym. Um, so, yeah, I would go with either Flying, uh, Super Effective, or Psychic. If you if you caught an Abra or a, uh, or a uh, Ralts. And, you know, leveled it up, learned some moves. Oh, we'll go with Wing Attack here. Yeah. 
All right, all right. Ooh, and that's his best move, Vital Throw. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Good job, Salty. Hung on with one HP there. That's what I like to see, bro. Wow, man. Great job, Salty. Great job. I'm going to uh, restore him with Super Potion. Wow, that was clutch. That was clutch because, uh, yeah, if Salty goes down, we'll probably lose this battle. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this gym is fighting type. And, oh, God, he's using bulk up. Well, that's not good. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that also means uh, you could use ghost type. And there actually is a, man, that healed a lot. And there actually is a ghost type that is available, like, right now, in the cave, uh, right next to, uh, right next to this town, actually. There's a, oh, well, Salty goes down, guys. That is unfortunate. Um, well, we'll still try to win here. Uh, let's see what else everyone else has, because... I, I've actually forgot. It's been a while. Uh, la, 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 la. Well, I'll probably just go with Mega Mina too at this point. But uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, bulk up! Wow, this thing's faster than me. That's that's kind of hard to believe, actually. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It does have a ghost type available, which is um, Sableye. Uh, a pretty good ghost type of that, but uh, oh man, <laughs> wow, yeah, and he's used bulk up so many times now, he's just gonna one shot everything. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Tad Lily here, see what she can do. Um, uh, you know, probably my best bet here is to use Bullet Seed, yeah, I'd say, because if it hits, oh, yes, critical hit. Yes, do it, Tad Lily. You can do it, girl. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep. Oh, is it dead? Oh, damn, dude, it has one HP. Oh, are you kidding me, Brawly? Oh, man, bro. Wow. Wow, you are a Rough Rider, as, as you said. Man, all guts. Oh, and he used a Super Potion. Wow. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Man, that was so close. That was so close. Ah, eh, critical hit with Flood. Good job, man. Wow. <laughs> oh, and another critical hit. My goodness, Flood. Whew, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh... That was awfully close, man. Almost had it with Tad Lily there. Wow. Yep. <sighs> but yeah, as you can see here, Brawly is no joke, man. This guy is good. Like, really good. So, prepare accordingly. Uh, and it looks like we're just going to lose here, basically. And, yep, scope goes down. No! Yep, we're out of Pokemons. Wow. Ooh, well, that was a tough battle. Man, unfortunate, too. And yeah, when you white out, you lose, like, half your money and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, we do get to keep our levels, and wow, that was such an epic battle. Yeah, I almost want to reset and, you know, go from there, but no, no, no. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll just keep this in. We'll, we'll try again. You know what? We'll try again. I'll take my loss like a man. Well, like... I, I don't know, technically I'm a, yeah, yeah, I'll take my loss like a man, you know, uh, yeah, that is unfortunate, but, uh, I will save this time, though, uh, yeah, because I don't want to, I don't want to keep embarrassing myself, <laughs> oh, but man, had him down to one HP there with Tad Lily, that was, oh, so close, man, so close, <laughs> And then for a uh, freaking uh, yeah, for flooding mon there to be pulling out two back to back crits, I mean that that was uh, that's something else, man. Uh, anyway, gonna save here and uh, oh, sorry for the movement, guys, but I'm actually gonna grab a little drink of water here. What's up? 
Uh, there we go. That's better. All right. Round two, Brawly. Ding, ding, man. Ding, ding. Let's do it. Oh, Brawly. Yes, we know. Uh, Cowabunga, dude. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Cowabunga, dude. Hey, yeah, after this, Brawly, I want you to introduce me to Master Splinter, the real fighting type master. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, and we have Salty again. But, uh, hey, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe the extra levels we've got with Salty will. Ooh, and he's using Bulk Up on Machop. Yeah, that's actually not good. Uh, but, uh,. Maybe, yeah, the extra levels we've got there with Salty will help him... Oh, really? I'm gonna use Bulk Up and then Low Kick. That's that's questionable, Brawly. I mean, even for you, that is that is so questionable, bro. Alright. And next should be Meditite, right? Mm. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and just attack because... Uh, I mean, yeah, last time I kept trying to use Focus Punch. Well, this time it's gonna do something different. I don't know what, but... Oh, it's gonna bulk up too. Okay, wow. So he's real. Yeah, and bulk up. That's the. Uh, I don't think I said it before. Uh, so it's kind of a good thing we're fighting this again. But uh, that's the TM uh, you get if you defeat this GM, and it raises your attack and defense as you saw there. So it's a uh, pretty good, pretty good. All right, round two, Makuhita. Can you sweep my team again? I don't know, probably. We'll see. I will try my best, though. Wing a check. Oh, man. Yeah, and he likes to go for bulk up, like, right away with this thing. Pretty smart, if you, you know, you ask me, man. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, as you saw, this Makuhita can easily sweep your team. Ooh, man, that does a lot of damage. All right, um... Well, I kind of want to heal Salty up here. I think that's what I'm going to really try to do on this uh, on this rematch. I'm going to try to keep Salty alive. Uh, so yeah, let's switch into a decoy. Let's switch to Neji Huga. <laughs> Huga. And oh, wow, even not very effective. Yeah, you see there. Yeah. Uh, but we'll go to Scope, who he'll probably kill easily. I just want to heal, man. I just want to... I mean, you're almost at full health. You used a berry. I want to heal, too. Yeah, that, that's all I want. Arm thrust. Okay. So it knows bulk up, arm thrust, vital throw. I'm sure it knows something else. Uh, but, yeah, as I was saying, uh, I think in the... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Sableye, a ghost type. Uh, you know, if you just got one... Uh, they're in Duford Cave that knows Nightshade. I don't think there's anything he could really do to you. Uh, wow, that does a lot of damage. Uh, uh, wow, do I want to heal again? I think I do. Uh, har, har, har. Well, who should we sacrifice? Uh, Mega Minato, you're on the short list. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> But you just are, man. I mean, I I love you and all, but, uh, oh, thank God you survived. Well, that gives me an extra turn, so, yeah. Keeping Salty alive, I think that's the way to go here, man. Yep, sorry, Mega Minato. Love you, but, uh, had to do it, man. Had to do it. But, yeah, if you use the ghost type here, I don't think there's really anything he could do uh, to you, so that's what I would do if I were you. You know, if you're having, you know, troubles with this gym. Okay, okay, see that? That did get reversal. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Now, reversal, that's interesting. That's a move that does more. Um, if he has a lot, you know, the lower his HP, the more damage that attack does. So, but I think this should do it. Wing attack. Did we Did we do it? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're good, Brawly. You're good, dude. But, uh, looks like we win. Whoa, whoa! You made a much bigger splash than I expected. You rode the wave. Cowabunga, dude. You swamped me. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. And 1900 bucks. Haha. <laughs> Man. 
And just like that, we get the knuckle badge from Brawly. All right. Cool. Knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades obey without question. And you'll be able to, yeah, be able to use Flash outside of battle. And he gives us TMOA. Wow. Yeah. And that's Bulk Up, yes. Raise attack and defense stats. And we're going to register him. All right. I can see your town become a giant wave to cause a storm of astonishment among trainers one day. Hey, you too, Brawly. Hey, keep staying cool, bro. And, uh, yeah. See ya. Wow. And, yeah, yeah. That was that was a good fight. That was that was good. And with that, we've got our second gym badge, guys. All right. And what's up? Whoa! It turned bright in here. Too bright in here. Your future's bright too. Enough with the bad puns. Ha ha. <laughs> yes, and we are certified trainers. All right, let's get out of here. Oof. And yes, after that, we need much a healing, please. All right. All right, and with the second gym badge in hand, we can now uh, move on in the things to do here. Uh, so you may be wondering, what do we have left to do? Well, um, I'm just gonna get my other no, side cheek. <laughs> oh man. It's been such a while, while since I, uh, I played this. I forgot I had named some of this stuff there. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of Neji. Well, actually, the place we're going, I'm actually going to take... Yeah, I'm actually going to take our Tracer here, uh, JJ, with us because... Uh, yeah, we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need her really quick. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, oh yeah. Also, have I toured the town? I don't know. I don't know. Let, let me let me go in here and see if I've actually checked out Dufer Town because I don't remember. Got your eyes on this. It's a secret scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of fashion. Yeah. Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you are a delight. I want you to have it. Oh, okay. Well, apparently I didn't tour the town. Uh, but yeah, this guy gives you a silk scarf which raises the power of normal type moves. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, Bra Brawly is pretty cool, dude. But, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, hey, that's it's better than nothing, right? So, let's see what items everyone has here. Uh, yeah, Floodmon has nothing, but he does have Tackle. I mean, I have nothing else. Boost the power of that. Uh, and Mega Minato has Tackle as well. And he's just holding a Petra Berry. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to take the Petroberry off, and, hey, I mean, Silk Scarf, better than nothing, right? Uh, so, yeah, we'll give her the Silk Scarf. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry, give him the Silk Scarf. So, did I not talk to this guy yet? Yo, how's your fishing? Oh, okay. Uh, good, good. It's it's fine, bro. That's great. Hauling some big ones, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, apparently I did a little touring of this town, but not, you know, not much, uh, Yes, yes, yes. Harmony. Major Fort of Slateport. Ah. Being surrounded by the beautiful sea. That's happiness, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. I, I imagine it is. How I envy you. <laughs> I imagine it's like living on Hawaii or something like that. Oh, what's up? I like what's hip happening at Trini. I'm always checking it out. <laughs> have you heard about this new excess work? Oh, oh believe, believe me, I have heard of it. But uh, anyway, I mean, excess work, it's like the hottest thing and cool. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's cool, but uh, biggest happening thing? I would say it is happening. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, 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 you're wrong, bro. Huh? It's not the hip and happening thing? Well, hey, you have to tell me what's new and in. Okay, so uh, yeah, you can tell this guy... Uh, a couple phrases or whatever, and uh, and actually, uh, you could probably make some something pretty funny. Um, I'm actually gonna try to do that. Let's see what we got here in the S's category. Uh, hmm. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. So stench is a word. Okay. Well, um. 
yeah, I'm like I said, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna sort of make this funny. So uh, I'll I'll tell you what's in, man. I'll tell you. You want to know what's in? The sticky hold. Uh. <laughs> wow, this is like just <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just uh, it, this is what's in right now. I, I don't know why, but it but it is. Yeah, the sticky hold stench, man. You just like take someone and uh, you grab their nose, right? You grab them by their face and put it under your armpit. It's the sticky hold stench, huh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I knew that. Knew it all along. <laughs> yeah, sticky hold stench, right? That's it. It's there. Isn't sticky hold stench the coolest or what? Yeah, man, <laughs> excess work. So, like, five minutes ago, now Sticky Hold Stench is what's vital and in tune with the times. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, if you talk to some of these people in here, they'll just kind of, now they'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, like, I'm studying up between Sticky Hold Stench. Is it true that there's a deep leak between Sticky Hold Stench and fishing? Well, yeah, 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 actually, because if you, I mean, like a raw fish is just as, uh, you know, it has, it has quite a stench to it. I don't know if you guys have ever been fishing, but, uh, yeah, I'm one step cool to being hip and happening. Yowza! Oh, man. Oh, man. Keep trying, guy. Keep trying. <laughs> Sticky hold stenches scream is the title. Uh, but, yeah, if you talk to some of the people in there, you'll get some pretty, uh, like, funny dialogue. I don't know. <laughs> so... Anyway, we're here on Route 106, and, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Ted Lilly up front, and we're going to, uh, yeah, battle some of these people. What do people do if they need to go to a washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. What are you talking about, dude? The washroom? What? Oh, oh, are you saying you have to, like, you know, you have to, <laughs> you have to go, bro? Like, you, I mean, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Well, just go, man. I mean, I mean, sometimes you gotta, oh, my God. Wow, nature power apparently turns to earthquake over here. Wow, that is, uh, that's, uh, pretty helpful. Good job, Tad Lily. All right, and level 15. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. You should take care of that. Oh, and Tad Lily is trying to evolve. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I want to let this happen or not. There may be a move that I want her to learn. You know what? I'm going to have to look it up after this video, which is uh, coming up here in a few minutes. Because uh, I think there's like one move I may want her to learn. Oh, yes, catching Pokemon with a rod. Oh, yeah, yeah, that reminds me. Uh,. Uh, and well, I guess that'd be a good way to end the episode. Uh, I have finally thought about, you know, whether I want to, and there's a hidden Pokeball right here, uh, whether I want to use, you know, Gyarados, uh, Magikarp. And long story short, yes, yes, I do. Um, which do you prefer, fishing in the sea or stream? Um, uh, stream, yeah, yeah, uh, in a stream's good. And we got Fisherman Elliot. Oh, oh. And, uh, well, yeah. I mean, because if this guy's using magic cards, why can't I? You know, that's that's all the argument I need right there. <laughs> Except I'm going to raise mine beyond the point where it can use Splash. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have it be able to use Tackle, too, man. You kidding me? <laughs> all right. Uh, so yes, uh, to, oh, and Tentacle again, huh? Wow, level 7, really? I'm surprised these guys' levels aren't, uh, you know, more up there. Huh, yeah, level 7, that's just, that's just, like, weak sauce, bro. I, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. Magikarp. Uh, so yeah. But, um... Yes, I am eventually going to replace uh, Salty. Much, even though he was a champ, you know, in that first battle. And, oh, are you kidding me? Hung on with one HP, just like this Magikarp did. Uh, <laughs> Magikarp, splash attack! But, uh, yeah, yeah. Even though he was the beast who hold, held on with one HP, 
Uh, yeah, in the long run, I think I'm making the right decision here, going with Gyarados. Um, but I mean, right now we only have uh, Fish and Scrape, so is Battling. Uh, if you don't mind, can we meet again, little lady? Uh, sure, Elle. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, um, well, this is where we'll be going next episode. Um, so for now, yeah, 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 why not just do this now? Um, yeah, yeah, so to end the episode, I'm going to show you guys how to fish for a magic carp. So, what you want to do is go to the items, key items, and I'm going to register the old rod, actually. And so now, if you press select, whoosh, whip. You just whip out your old rod, just whip it out, and we got a bite, and when it says that, you want to press the A button, so there you go. And with the old rod, you can find Magikarp, hey, this one's level 8, alright. Now, we don't want to kill it, oh yeah, Nature Power will do Earthquake, <laughs> yeah, no way do we want to do that, uh, so we'll just, we'll just astonish it a couple times and throw some balls, uh, but uh, yeah. I think Gyarados would be a fine addition to the team. What say you? I mean, we are doing an all-water run-through here of Emerald, so why not use probably one of the best water types in the game, really? Um, Gyarados is pretty, you know, boss, man, so... Uh, yeah. Why not? You know? Um... That being said, though, training Magikarp will be a bit of a doozy. <laughs> a bit of a doozy. Um, so, here we go, and we get the data to the Pokedex. Magikarp, the useless Pokemon. <laughs> oh, well, no, no. The fish Pokemon. Its swimming muscles are weak, so it is easily washed away by currents. In places where water pools, you can see many Magikarp deposited there by the flow. Thanks, Dexter. Uh, but yeah, we will give this a uh, nickname, and it is a male, uh, so I'm going to nickname it. Now, if it would all fit, I would name it Levia Dragon, Daedalus. But uh, no, unfortunately, it will not all fit, so I'm just going to name it uh, Daedalus. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, yeah. Not even sure this is how you spell it, but that's how I'm going to spell it. Daedalus, yeah. And there we go. We have caught Daedalus, who will be added to the team. Alright, guys. And, um, yeah, as I said, training Magikarp will be a, a bit of, a bit hard. So, um, we will, I'm really going to show basically how to train it, how to train your dragon, so to speak, <laughs> how to train your Gyera. Uh, and that'll be sort of a bonus, uh, series and uh, yeah I think that'll be good because uh, yeah yeah that's what we'll do for that um yeah uh, well that's gonna be it for this episode in the next episode we're going to go into this cave here uh, because if you remember we needed to deliver the letter to uh, who was it now oh Steven right right so that's what we're gonna do next time um yeah so I will see you guys then Bye-bye.